Hey guys, this is Tab from Freefly. I'm going to show you how to get the Radian module into bootloader mode so that you can do a firmware update. Um, we'll be releasing new firmware periodically to add new features and uh, I want to show you how to do that. So in order to do so, you need to short the signal pins on port 5 and port 6 uh, on power up. You can, if you have a jumper, you can use that. If you don't have a jumper, I just use a big ball-in driver and I put the power off. I just set it on the two, I hold it vertically, set it on the two signal pins and power it up. Um, you'll know if you're successfully in bootloader mode if the two LEDs are solid. Uh, solid green and solid orange means bootloader. So we've got the Radian module into bootloader mode. Um, this is the USB to serial programmer that comes with the Radian. Uh, one point to make sure of is the, the black wire on this, uh, this connector goes to the outside of the board that has the green LED. Um, a, good way to, a good way to remember that is the black wire goes to the side of the connector, which is flush with the edge of the board. There's a, on this side, there's, a, there's another space for a pin, basically, and that's where the signal wire goes. So now we've got the Radian in bootloader mode. We've got our USB um, to serial converter. Signal, the signal and the red go on, uh, go on the signal pins, and then the black uh, goes on the, the bottom, which is a ground. So plug those into port 5 and port 6. It's a big uh, two two size connector, um, like a three by two connector basically. And then we'll fire up uh, the bootloader software. Um, the first step will be to select the proper COM port. One trick with anything when you're programming with this board, we've, we've set it so it defaults always to COM10. So if you force your uh, windows to default to COM10, you won't have to select the COM port each time you start the software. So I've, I've set mine so it goes to COM10 every time. Um, so now we're in the bootloader, uh, the bootloader application for firmware updates. Um, basically, the first thing to do is hit connect to target and make sure that you do have a connection. This will show you your current version uh, here. It'll show your serial number for your Radian. Um, so then you'll, you'll click load firmware file. Find the firmware that you want to do. In this case, we're going to load uh, mount stab 0.12. And then you're just going to hit program new firmware and you'll see it writing the firmware and it'll give you confirmation when it's finished that the, uh, for the new firmware is written successfully. So we'll see in just a second that it'll be finished. All right, as you can see there it says program complete so you know your firmware is upgraded. Uh, if, you want, if you feel like double checking, you can click connect to target again. Now we see the current version shows as 0.12, um, so you're up to the, the latest version in the firmware. Thanks.